Good morning, Rav Boisai. Ah, Nili Nishma Simi Mirosi Rusmas Mordechai. By Zisha Fort King. That was uh, the guy that got the cap yesterday. Hi, Rebelli. I want to say thank you so much for the cap. It's a genuine pleasure coming to MDY. It's an authentic Mishpok mentality. Plus, this great coffee. Here's a video of me and my father learning the daf. Here we go. Go to the videotape. Let's see. We need volume. Hold on. We got a new guy in the booth today because. You ready? You got some volume? Oh. That's the father. That's the father. The video is on his handlebar. Okay, we got the idea. Ramapo. Rafi the barber has Brooklyn. Let's greet Emmanuel the barber on Main Street in Queens. Is that what the Stroigim are? The Noam Fix a Stroigim business on Main Street. Main Street in Queens. You can go visit. Get a free haircut by Emmanuel the barber. No. <laughs> that's that's the whole thing. MDY brings so many people together. I grew up in Tinnick and Mandelbaums and the Mandelbaums and my family down in the same row at Beth Aron. I hadn't seen or heard of Abby for years until the Grand Mayatsium in RBS. Hence the picture I sent. This was Avi's all the way to the right. I couldn't believe it when you made that announcement about his diagnosis. Bez Hashem, as Avi said, he's got this. Emir Hashem will hear of his reform Shlem Vikari. How could I not do what's in my power to help? Emir Hashem, I'm setting a goal to learn Mesechtis Chagiga, 26 Daf, Lineder, by Simchas Torah. Thank you for all you're doing for Klal and your Eitzah uh, in the realm of Shalom Bayis. I don't know. I guess I didn't. Siva Vachasim Toiva, Alex Gilden. So Alex put us over 5,000. He's the one that put us off over 5,000. Uh, well, yeah. yeah, yeah, if you come every day, you have all these. <laughs> Good morning, Rebelli. I bumped into Yechesko Moshe Kass last night and had to make the most of it. Please see attached. Wishing all the in the time. She be Leafman or Lifeman? Here, here we go. Sadiq, you ready? Good morning, Rabbi Sai. Okay. Now this I like a lot. Got to new work early so I could do the daf before my flight to Miami. But listen to this. Started daf sixty two. Working to catch up the sixty daf. He's doing sixty daf. The first time of Avram and Asha. Got up to daf twenty. We'll get there so I can another have another sixty daf to count. Rabbi Fischel Yaakov Tad, International Director, Yeshiva Pirchei Shoshanim, Smicha Program. We encourage our Talmudim around the world to join the MDY community, Lakewood, Yeshur Koyach. And listen to this. Eleven blah 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 there. An idea that might help other people who don't know which blah to learn. So a lot of people are doing Chazara. Great idea. Listen to this, says Abba Renner. Instead of Chazara, I'm going to use this opportunity to catch up on the blot that I missed in different Masechtas. Rosh Hashanah, Tainus, and Megillah. I wrote them down and will Amir Hashem clean the slate. The great thing is that I'll be able to make three siyumim for Rosh Hashanah and the Refuas Avi. The Koilel is sponsored for the success of our family and that we merit to always crown Hashem. It's only $333 a day to sponsor the Koyal for a month. The Mesechta is sponsored by Jeff Rosner in Schuss of my son. It's only $81 a day to sponsor the Mesechta. Lilishmas Baruch ben Moshe Aaron, Lilishmas Moshe Lohz ben Nota Sholom, and for that Slochab and Yonah for my children. The second sponsor, Jeff Rosner, Schuss of my son, Yusuf Simcha Chaim ben Tzor Achan, Revo Shlema. The rest of the Mesechta is sponsored by official Mitzvah motivators. The month is sponsored. Lili Nishmas Zachar ben Moshe. The second sponsor of the month, the MDY family. Lili Nishmas Ezra Tuvia, Yaakov ben Isal and Yitzchok, Ezra Palakol of Ashalom. The third sponsor by the Lakin Lavi family is Lakin in Jersey because Torah is the best Segula. Fourth sponsor, Rufur Shleimo for Yecheskel ben Leah. Fifth sponsor, Ezra Schos. 
that Hashem should watch over me and ensure that I complete that I'm completely healthy ad meo the esrim. Panasayoim. Peretz Chaim Levin, Lili Nishmas, my grandmother, Rishko Bas Eliezer, Rose Hanikman, on your side, and my aunt, Yitko Bas Yeruchim HaKoyenim, for the September 11th Kedoshim, Shlomi Rosenberg, Ksubis, 20 Daf, Lekoved Avi, Joel Dimbert, Shmir Shabbos Bamidbah, this is Mrs. Dimbert, she's doing the whole safe of Shmir Shabbos Bamidbah, Abba Kaplan, one daf, Ovadia, 12 years old, Berg. Ovadia Berg, one daf, anonymous. Abe Skorsky, Sukkis, 27 daf in, su- in Sukkis. Osh in Sukkah. Osher Berkowitz, 10 daf. Shaya, who's 14 years old, Spira, Chazor and Tsuba, 7 daf. Abarenet, Rosh Hashanah, Tainis Megil, 11 daf. Alex Gilden, 26 daf. Yishkoya, her boy said, we're still looking for a sponsor for Mesechtis Nadarim. It's coming up. Somebody yesterday donated another $5,000. That's amazing. Join dafyoyami.com. Grow the shear if you're part of the shear.com to get your free Gemara. There's only 70 Gemaras left in America for volume three, which is very good. I don't know how many are left in it. Just draw. Tomer, we got a bunch of Gemaras. I, I ran out of Gemaras. I, if you have any extra, you have some more? No, I took from the kitchen yesterday. The more, Yavali. Okay, because some people wanted the Gemara yesterday, they came up to me. So after Shir, you could, if you have a friend or somebody you want to go to, great. Okay, so here we go. Raboy side, this is what we had yesterday. On the screen, you'll see, there's two Bryces. One Bryce says, we have a contradiction. If a person tells his Kala on condition, I'm getting engaged on condition that you don't have Nidari. So one price says it's a good kedushin, and the other price says it's not a good kedushin if we're talking about a case where the chacham is matter. Okay, again, on condition you don't have nedarim, and she goes afterwards and she gets rid of them through a chacham. Is that considered that she didn't have nedarim or not? So we said like this, and it's good to pay attention here because it might get it's a little tricky. We're going to say two halachas, but they're very different halachas. Halacha number one is. She goes to a Chacham and he gets rid of a Nadar. Says Rameyer, since a person doesn't care, his Baza Ishtoy means, I don't care if my wife goes to Bezin and spills the beans and Bezin tells Bezin about her, her Nadar. It doesn't bother me. So it doesn't bother me. So it's a good Kedushin. I don't care if she went, if she's going to go, if she went. That's not part of the night. If it really bothers me, so the fact that she goes to Bezin, that's part of my deal. I said, Do you have any Nadar? She said, No. Then she's going to do something that I care, that I don't like, to help her out. That's not going to help the Kedushin. I don't like when she goes to Bezin. So it's not a good Kedushin. I made a deal with her. She doesn't have Nadarim. Not only does she have Nadarim, she's going to do something I hate, which is she's going to spill the beans in front of Bezin. That doesn't help me. So says Rebbe Lazar, a person doesn't want his wife or his Kala to go to Bezin. Great. Now let's look at this next. Halacha. It's almost counterintuitive. The halacha is that if you divorce your wife because she has a net there, stop. This is not talking about a chasen getting engaged on condition. This is stop. A married couple. The guy finds out that his wife made a nether. So he divorces her. So if it's a type of nether that you have to go to a chacham, then you, you can't take her back. Before, Rameir is the one that says, it's a good engagement. Now he's saying you can't take her back. For the same exact reason though. What makes the engagement a good engagement tells me that you can't take her back. What's Pshat? Because since he doesn't care that she's going to go to Bezdin, that's why the engagement is a good engagement if you make a, a condition. But that reason that he doesn't care if she goes to Bezdin ruins it for us. Why? Because since he doesn't care that she'll go to Bezdin, so he'll claim later on, after she gets married to a second man, this is what we learned yesterday. She's going to go ahead, he's the, he divorces her. Then she goes and marries a second man, has children with him. And then he says, wait a minute. If I would have known that she could have gone to Bezdin and annulled the whole nether, I would have done so. And Memela, the second marriage is not a marriage, and those kids are Mamzerim. I want to avoid that whole thing, but that's only because he could taina, oh, she could have gone to a rov and gotten out of it. 
but you can't, you can't go to a Rav and get out of it if I care, if it bothers me. But Ramir says it doesn't bother me. So then I have a problem. He might claim that I, if I had I known, you hear what's going on here? So that same Svara that I don't care, going to Bezdin, ruins it if you're married. You hear Mendy? It's counterintuitive. It's almost, on the one hand, that's, that Svara says that if I get engaged to a woman who has a Nidharm on her, and she goes, the Chacham is Mefer, it doesn't bother me, and Mamele, it's a Kiddushin. But since it doesn't bother me, if I'm already married, then it's, you can never get back, you can't, you can't marry her again. Let's see inside. Zaktigimar. Like four lines down from the top of Aina. And we have to finish earlier today because of Slichas. Like at least one minute before eight. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a Xera. It's nothing to do with anything. It's a because some guy might one day decide that he would have never divorced his wife and it'll be Moisey Shemra, whatever it is. Okay. This is what we're talking about over here. A guy is married to a woman. And he divorces her, divorces her. If it's, why did he divorce her? Because there's a nether. If it's a type of a nether that you need a chacham, he can never marry her again. Rebbe Lazar agrees to that. Go back to the chart for a second. It's lo yachzer. They're both lo yachzer. But Rebbe Lazar says that if it was just, if we just had this idea of chacham, of, of Shemitah's Baza, he, I hold like this Baza. A person never doesn't allow his wife to go to Bezin. So the whole thing is, the reason why it's Aser is because of another case. If I myself could annul the nether, why could I myself annul the nether? It's a certain nether that has to do with the husband. And that, I could say, that's the Svar. I could say, oh, had I known that I could annul it, I would have annulled it, and therefore your kids are Mamzerim. Now your second marriage is not good. So maybe even a case where I need a chacham, uh, it's also awesome. But Michael Mifligi, you mean what, right now? Yes, yes. And Afkimina is. Um, I, yeah, there is one, a very simple one, but I don't remember right now. I think no one case which. I don't know, drawing a blank. Okay, so this is the Gemara saying now, not literally she, that he wants her to be embarrassed in Bezden, but he doesn't care. He's not Makbit. And therefore, a Kilkel is going to come out of this. Fakert. A person doesn't want his wife to be embarrassed in Bezden. And it's one, it's one because of the other. It's up to the case of where he himself can annul. Rava Omar. Now Rava explains it differently. Now we have, going back to this case. Brisa Aleph and Brisa Beis. You have a Chacham who said that the a guy said to, to, the, to the Kala, I'm getting engaged on condition, you don't have any dark. So if the Chacham went and annulled in the Dharam, one Bryce says she's Makudish, one Bryce says not Makudish. Says Rava, no, we're not talking about Remeyer and Blaz or different Chan. We're talking about a woman who comes from a prominent family. Interesting Svara. First of all, he doesn't want a woman, he finds out that she made a nether. So now he really doesn't like this woman. He doesn't want this cow. But you're going to tell him, go divorce her. He doesn't want to divorce her. Why? Because now it'll be us on her sisters. He still wants to marry the chasher. You know, it's like a Rebbe Sheikos. Like, if you're Hasidish, you can understand this. I want to marry into this specific family. I don't care about the girl. I, don't, I need this Yichos. I care about the grandfather, great-grandfather, the whole thing. So if this girl is no good, I'll take the next one in line. But I want to be part of that family. As the Gemari Achi, save the Ktani. Aval who? What about if the problem is him, not her? Who shall I to Chacham Vihitiroi? The Chacham said that she doesn't want to marry a guy that has the Dharm. She already went through this once. Guys that have the Dharm, not good. I don't want a guy that makes the Dharm all the time. So he went to Chacham and he got rid of his Dharm. It's a Rife of Ripe Oisai, or he had a mum. She doesn't want to marry a guy with mum. She makes a deal with him. I'm only getting engaged to you on condition you don't have any mum. 
Equal rights. And he went to the doctor, got rid of the mum, Mukudeshes. It works. I see more listening to Mukudeshes. When it comes to her, we said she comes from a prominent family. So when it comes to him, it has to match. The Mishnah has to match. Everything matches. So he comes from a prominent family. So if she, he comes from a prominent family, we should say the same exact Svaro. Why Mukudeshes? I want to be able to marry your brothers. Says the Gemara, no, there's a big difference between him and her. Why? Ihi b'chaldu nichola. There's a svara when it comes to women, and the, I think they say today, this doesn't apply so much. But in those days, it's one thing I remember from Chay, there's this line. A woman prefers just to be married, even to an inferior kind of guy, than to sit single. Okay? For Shana, we gotta do tshuva, we gotta get shidduchim for the singles. It's very, very bad for a woman to be alone. Sometimes she'll, um, what's the word? Compromise, thank you. She will compromise. So she will compromise more than a man will compromise. And Mela, we don't use the same logic when it comes to a woman than, than to a man. Abaya Omar, and Abaya says the same, we're saying the same thing here. If you married an aunt, in other words, a very short guy, she's still, she's able, she comes around, she says, I'm a married woman. Oh, you know, married, look at me, I'm married. So she takes her chair and she puts it right with all the prestigious women. As long as she's married, she's not married, she's the single, she's single, sit on the side, don't, don't bother us. Woman wants to be married. She wants to have a shem of being married. Papa Omar, same thing. Then a She has. She's married to a guy that has a terrible job. He combs wool for a living. To kraya besife bava. She's gonna call him to sit in front of everybody on the door stoop. Vitesev. She'll sit down with him. She wants to be married. She doesn't care to who. She could be. He could work in the garbage department. Get anything. He. She sits with him in public. Ravashi Omar the kalasa. Gavra, if the person has bad yichos, there's a Shem Ra about him somewhere. She won't even ask him to buy lentils. She'd rather be married to him, a guy that has bad yichos, a guy that's short in stature, short in yichos, doesn't matter. She wants to be married, end of story. Says the Gemara, incredible thing, Tana. We don't understand this. Vikulon, Mizanois. The toilets bevalein. These women, they're okay <laughs> for the shem davar. They're okay being married to these guys, but on the side they have other men that they're mezana with. These people Okay, so now we're talking about the mumim. Mumim of. The apostle of woman, a person says to, to the kala on condition that you don't have any mumim. Tana, <coughs> we added a few mumim. Haisifu alayim zeya, if she sweats. Veshuma, she has a mole. Vereya chape, bad breath. Says the Gemara of Anib Kahani loy pasli. Okay, I won't say the bad breath joke. One bad joke after another is not good. Vahani bechahani loy pasli. Yeah, later, later, later. <laughs> I think I said it already. <laughs> I should have said that one. Okay, so edit that one. Put that. Share whatever. Joke 172. Add instead. What? You're telling me that these are three things. Zeya, Shuma, Recha, Peh. Passed by a Kayan. By a woman, but not by a Kayan. But not. We learn. And this is by a behema, By an animal. Hazaken. An older animal. Vachoyla. Sick. Vamizuam. So Gemara understands that Mizuam smells bad is like Zaya, like sweat. Utnan, Mumamelu, Benkfu and Beno, even whether they come and go, whether they're there permanently. Psulin Ba'adam, these Pasalakayan. So why are you telling me Hoysifu Aleim? There's a special thing when it comes to Shiduchim. We have three extra Psulim, Zaya, Shumarei, Chapeh. 
We see, we find it also by a kind. Or Rabbi Yosef, Rabbi Chanin, Eloi Kashi. Kan bezeyoi veres. When it comes to sweat that's temporary, that passes by a woman. Kan bezeyoi sheyoi veres. What passes by a kayan is something that sweats constantly. That's a moment. Being over, being over. 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 Being I hear. I don't know. Maybe it's a different type of over. Different types. Different. Constant, constant. Every day for a few hours. I don't know. But that's not, it's not so much when the Bain Oivrim, I hear. Ravashi Omar, Zeya, Amazum Koramas, you're trying to say, stick in, that Mizua means Zeya. It's not the same thing. Hazim Gavgarim, Efshar, La'abro, Bikyu, the Chamra. So, first of all, when it comes to Ziyom, Ziyom means like the whole body smells like something, but. When it comes to Kehanim, you can take that, that sweat or whatever and get rid of it with kihu the Chama, some wine thing, some, some uh, deodorant, dodorant. I'll never, this, the word deodorant by me, once I was by my aunt in Bnei Brak, and I said this also but a long time ago, I think. And she was telling me about these kids that went off the derech. And I'm like, how do they go off the derech? She says, you know, they wear dodorant. I'm like, what? In her mind, a guy that wears deodorant, off the derech. <laughs> this, was, this was like 20, I hope it changed since then. This was 20 something years ago. Bahamas. It's like, it's like almost like perfume. How could you do such a thing? Anyways, dodarant. They wear dodarant. Bikiyu the camera, umereya chapeh, nami efshar. Here's the, the shvacha joke about reya chapeh. There was, there was a couple that they both had a mum, terrible mum. The guy had very smelly feet, smelly socks. She had very bad breath, but they hid it very well from each other. So finally they get married, and the guy wakes up in the middle of the night in a panic. He realizes that he forgot to hide his socks. So he starts searching here, there, under the bed, everywhere. All of a sudden his wife wakes up. She goes, what are you doing? He goes, ugh. Why did you eat my socks? Murecha penami efshar. The noka pilpila be pume. He could he could eat a pepper like we have mouthwash. We have toothpaste. They didn't know about these things back then. But you could. There's a way. Eat a hot pepper. Vavid avoida. So for that little amount, he could do an avoida. Avakabiisha. The same thing, but by a woman loy efshar. You can't tell, the guy has to be with her his entire life. So every conversation, maybe she, she, he's going to have to use a pepper right before. A Kayan, he knows he's going to do that void. He only does it a couple times a year. He only has two weeks, the entire year is up. And when it's his turn, he pops a, a pepper. So, okay, get away with it. But you can't tell a woman th- th- 365 days a year to, to, to eat peppers. He doesn't want that. So it's not a good shidduch. Says, what's this mole? A lot of people have moles. So it's, it's a little bit of a problem, according to the Gemara here. A lot of us are bali mumen. Eat this boseyar, if it's a mole that has a here, hacha v'hacha pasla, doesn't matter, a koi and a woman. Both cases, a koi is pasla for avayda, a woman is not a shidduch. Eat the is boseyar, and if it doesn't have a here, it depends. Ishu mukdayla, if it's very large, hacha v'hacha pasla, so a koi and a woman, pasla. Ishu muktanoi, the bottom line is the if, if the mole has a hair in it, it's considered a mum. If it doesn't have hair, some sort of coin, whatever the size is. A pretty large amount. Bottom line is if a mole has hair, it's a mum. If it's very large, mum. Okay. So, what's going on here? Either this mole is possible for everybody, even a kayin, or it's not even, doesn't ruin it for a woman. So what kind of mole is it? Says the Gemara, We're talking about a mole that's on her forehead. In other words, 
anywhere that's visible on her face. But Padachta is on her forehead. As the Gemara, Padachta, Rabban is Payasu, Bin Payasu. He obviously met her once before they got engaged. Sometimes it's through Shliach, but it's something noticeable and everybody sees. And he saw it and he says, okay, let's get engaged with the mole. That's why, I don't know, I need to speak to Rabbi Schoenberg about this. I don't know exactly what happened in those days. The, the, the single girls used to wear something on their head. They didn't wear a covering on their head. She had some baseball cap on. So it's on her forehead and it's like covered by the, by the hat, whatever she's wearing. Sometimes you see it, sometimes you don't see it. That's why the Gemara says it's on her forehead. Because if it was on her cheek, let's say, so that's not covered by her hat. We're talking about in a place that sometimes is covered by the hat, sometimes not. Somewhere right around there. And we're talking about, it's certainly not a woman with a burqa, although they had those then. How do you know? It's much like that. That's what the Rishonim talk about it. The Rishonim say specifically, if it's in a place that they cover their head completely, they saw it. So they used to cover their head completely. In Arab countries, they cover their head completely. They had to. It's minig makam. They chop their head off. Nothing to do with Judaism. This is the minute. Yeah. You, Arab countries, they had to. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I didn't say in Ashkenazi places. In Arab countries. Yeah, whatever. I'm trying to talk about it. I don't know how many years, a thousand years ago. So, again, is talking about the Gemara's. Again, if it's very large, it's a mum. If it has a hair in it, it's a mum. Since the Gemara doesn't, it's not large, it's small. It's small without hair. But it's smack in the middle of her face. That could really bother the guy. And he could break a shidduch. But if it's in, sm- in the middle of her face, so he saw it. No, he didn't see it because it's under the hat. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not there. Omer Rav Papa, boy, me this lot of skip al shoroisha. Bzim the mischaz, bzim the mischaz. Omer Rav Chizda, ha milsim megavir rabbi shemili. I heard this from a great man, Umanu Rav Shila. Nishacha kelev, if she has a scar from a dog, vinasim akomi tzalekes, harezin mum, that's considered a mum. That could break a shidduch. Omer of Chizda, call over. Bisha, she has a very thick voice. She sounds like a man. Harez a mum. Doesn't want to marry her. Ask the Chazanish. She them kubetzes. Didn't he go on a date with her? What do you mean? Now he wakes up. She has a bad voice. See, so Chazanish says, you know, women, they fake it. Hi, how are you here? <laughs> That's on the date. All of a sudden she comes home. Hey, take out the garbage. So, whoa, 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 slow down. <laughs> a woman's voice should be sweet. And Rabbi Vigna Miller says, why, why, why does Baruch do it like that? So she convinced her husband, like Rabbi Kiva, to go learn Torah. She says it in a sweet way. She has a sweet voice. She can convince her kids. But a father is more of the disciplinarian. He has the thick voice. If there's a distance in her chest, the size of a tevach, that's a, that's a mum. It's not a mum, the opposite, it's great. It's right there in the same, in the same sugya of mum, the kama. And what's considered the opposite of a mum, great? Three fingers. If they are larger than her friends, I raise a mum. That's a mum. The kama. Larger by a tefach. Umikikagavni is such a thing. In I saw with my own eyes an Arab. She says she had her child on her back, like in one of those things, and he's hungry. So she gave him, she nursed him backwards. How did he see it exactly? Maybe he just so happened to see it. It was like a, it was a millisecond. They bumped, sometimes the Gemara says, I don't know, sometimes I remember the Gemara saying once, Karen Zavis, exactly. Thank you. The Gemara says, how did he see this woman? He was walking in the corner. And they bumped into each other in the corner. Fine, whatever, there's different things. Or some Akhrani want to say that we learned in the Gemara, in Dabi Laichik Shura, if he took her on his shoulders and danced with her. So there's a Musik that a Gadol could, could look. Okay. Now I'm sorry. The Gaim are going to see different Jews around the world. They're going to say, Ish, the Ish, you, you, you don't belong here. Let me take you up, Teretz Yisrael. 
I'm going to, I'm going to establish you, I'm going to take you back to Eretz Yisrael. Omer Rabbi Miyosha, Barbara the Rabbi Yishuv and Levi, here we just, we just spoke about him. Echad anoylet ba, whether you're born in Eretz Yisrael, ve'echad ha'mitzapel l'roisa, or whether you're dying to see Eretz Yisrael, you'll be zaycha to be brought to Eretz Yisrael. The rugged Shavar's son-in-law made it to Eretz Yisrael illegally, and the Turks caught him. And they wanted to deport him back to Europe. So the, he said, what do you mean? I was born here. So they said, okay, so swear. Let's see if you can swear. So he sent the Rugged Shavar a question. He says, could I swear falsely? It's also, he has to say, Shem Hashem. You're going to say, hey, take a Tyra, swear. You, you're not going to swear just because you want to live in Eretz Israel. So Rugged Shavar brought him this raya from Ayin Heyom at Aleph. He says, it says in the Gemara in Ksubis, that a person who yearns to be in Eretz Israel, it's as if he was born in Eretz Israel. That's what the Pasuk says. Ish, ish, yulad ba. You were born there. Says the Gemara, what do you mean you were born there? It means even a person who's mitzap el the Pasuk says, yulad ba, you were born there. You could swear that you were born in Eretz Yisrael. Amr Abayim. I saw that in the Lenu Shabayach. Give him credit. I saw it there. Omar Abayim, v'chad minayu adif, kitrei minon. One person from Eretz Yisrael is greater in his chachma, in his harifos, his sharpness, and his pikchos, says Rashi, than two of us, bavlim. That's why maybe I have a head to, to learn by myself. If you're in Eretz Yisrael, in the Chutzlars, you have to learn with the Chavrusa. Maybe if you're in Eretz Yisrael, you can use this head there. I don't know. One is equal to. Omer of v'chad minan. And if we make an aliyah, we come from Babel to Eretz Yisrael, kisal glasim, it's like four times the amount. We're, one Eretz Yisrael is better than two Bavlim. But one Bavli who comes to Eretz Yisrael is four times the amount. Rabbi Yirmin was once thrown out of the Bismarck for asking a silly question. He didn't know I was flying over here, says the Gemara. He didn't understand what, the simple uh, what's going on. He saw the law some. But once he went to Eretz Yisrael, he was so good that he turned around and called us Bavloi Tipshay. Throughout chats, many times, he says, Hani Bavloi Tipshay. Says the Elegy Mishnah, Spansom Mishnah, Kolon Nishchus. Huh? No. He looked down at them. He says, look at you. Like, oh, and, and the Eretz Yisrael, yeah. Only two people, Ribami and Ribzeira, only them, are brought down in Shas. And both of them made Aliyah. They both came from Bavel. They used that Lashem. Says the Mishnah. Moshe Kohen, L'schos, for living at Torah and continuing at Tzlach and Parnasa. Hoi ba mumim, v'ayda b'vei Sovia. She had mumim when she was still in Arusa. Still engaged in her father's house. Ha'av, now, the onus is on the father. Av tzoch lo v'irayo, she mishin is an arsa hoyu. That it happened it happened after she got engaged. And he lost out. His field was ruined. But once she comes to the, to the husband's rishos, now it's on the husband to prove that they were there before she got engaged. And therefore it's a mechatos. He doesn't have to give exuba. So in other words, we're fighting over the exuba over here. If the father wants the exuba for his daughter, he has to prove that the mumim happened after she got engaged. And they happened under the domain of the husband. If the husband wants to get out of his exuba, once he's married, he has to prove that it happened before they were engaged. If these are things that he couldn't figure out before he got married, but things that are out there in the open, he can't have a claim. Rashi seems that there's a machlaikis here. Taisa says Rameir would agree to this. He's not going to argue on it. If it's a mum shiba galoi, what is he going to say? It's hard to understand Rashi if Rashi argues on Taisa. <coughs> we had these halachas already. If there's a bathhouse, a communal bathhouse. 
he could send people that he knows to check out her mumim Shabbat and he has no claim. We just turned to Ayin Hayom and Bez, sponsored in honor of Yanki Bam and Moshe Horn. In honor of my uncle, Rebbe Chana Pressman, as a schos, for a year filled with Mazel Brochon and Slocha. Says the Gemara, the time of the Maisu Avraya, Haloi Maisi Avraya, Habal Memen. So this is a classic Gemara question. From the Reisha's Mashma, one thing, from the Seifa's Mashma, Pung Fakir. From the Reisha, it says that it, the father has to bring a Raya, but if he doesn't bring the Raya, what happens? Habal Mehemen. And he doesn't have to pay Ksuba to the husband. Mani, Rabbi Shui. In this Masechta, all the way in the beginning, David Beis, we have the, the question. A person says he got married to the woman and she's not a psula. She says, you know when it happened? Yes, I'm not a psula. Maskin. It happened after we got engaged. Do we trust her or not trust her? Yeshua says, we don't trust her. Now what about Cheska Saguf? We're going to be talking about four Chazakas that are possible over here. Here's the first one. Cheska Saguf in blue. Cheska Saguf means, I have a body, I was born a psula. So you prove that I'm not a psula. Same thing, we have a person, uh, mum, mumim, by us, our Mishnah. A person, we're not talking about mumim that people were born with. Because if they were born with it, nobody would have an argument. You can't argue with the father, and the father can't argue with the chasim, the whole, she was born without a hand. You see that she was born a certain way. Ears, giant ears, whatever it is. Can't say it happened after she got engaged. So we're talking about a mum that happened later on in life. But a person has cheskes aguf. It's the same cheskes aguf. The, the status quo of her body. It was, it was without a mum. So you prove when the mum happened. She could tell the husband. Oh. So you see, they don't have cheskes aguf here according to Rabbi Yeshua. The fact is, we don't care that she was born a psula. He says, Let me we don't trust you. In other words, there's no cheskes aguf. This, there is no status quo, the body status quo. Okay? There's also something called cheskes mamay. There's money here that's owed, a ksuba. Has that fit into the picture? Or for Karen, he, the husband, is holding on to the money of the ksuba. It's his money. You want to take it out of him? You have to prove something. But he has a chazak on that money. Says Gemara. So that, the ratio. So here's Cheskes Maman, green money. And then you have Cheskes Aguf against Cheskes Maman. Cheskes Aguf is going to win. Says the Gemara like this. Ema Seifa. If she gets married, the husband has to bring the raya. Time of the Maisei Abal Raya. It's only because the husband brings the raya. Holy Maisei Abal Raya. Have Mehemen. If he can't bring a raya, then it goes back. To the, to the father, the father the fathers believe, the son, the Rebbe Gimliel, the Omar Nemenes. So now we have a problem. We have a Reish and a Seifa. Let's see if I have this. No. Okay. The Reish, goes like Rebbe Shua. The Seifa just went like Rebbe Gimliel. That, there's Cheske Saguf. Omar Rebbe Lazar, Tavro. Yeah, yeah, you're right, it's broken. Misha Shana Zu, Lo Shana Zu. We have a, a Reish and a Seifa and the Brisa and... One doesn't go like the other. Okay. One goes like Rabbi Shua, one goes like Rabbi Gamliel. Omer Abba. Loi Teima, Rabbi Shua. No, comes Rabbi and says another pshat. It's not good to say that in one Mishnah, half goes like this one, half goes like the other one. They, they contradict each other. But every Rabbi Shua, Loi Azza, Basa Chazaka, the Gufa Klau. Says Rabbi, don't say that Rabbi Shua doesn't hold it as Chazaka. Cheska Saguf is a very strong Chazaka. It happens to be, in our case, not. Oh, forget what I said. When you have these two chazakas opposing each other, you have cheskes aguf, her chazaka, her body didn't have a mum. And he has a chazaka that he owes the money. So it's one against the other, blue against green. Green wins. Then I don't go. However, if there's no chazaka of money at all, then Rabbi Shua does agree that there's something called chazaka of guf. Where do we have it? It's Sanya. In Beheris, Kodim Laser, Lavan, Tomei. When it comes to Tsaras, you have a white nega on your hand, and one of the simonim of the nega that's Tsaras, it has two hairs in it. 
When did the hairs appear? The hairs appeared, as the Pasuk says, The hair came into the white part. In other words, the white was there before the hair. Then the person is Tomei. In Seir Lavan, if the two white hairs were there before the white spot, Tar. Suffolk. What if we don't know what happened first? Tommy. Comes Rabbi Shua says, no, this is a cheskas hago. Rabbi Shua Oimer, keha. My keha, what does that mean keha? Or Rabbi keha tar. This is a cheskas hago. A body usually doesn't have tzeras. So what do you see? Rabbi Shua holds of cheskas hago. When doesn't he hold of cheskas hago? When there's uh, something against it called cheskas mamen or something else. Rabbi Omar, reisha kan nimtsu bekan hoyu. This is another sort of chazaka here called when do we find it? Where do we find it? Wherever we found it, that's when it happened. If we found the mum by the father's house, let him prove it. In other words, the Mishnah, the entire Mishnah is Rim Gamliel. Why is the entire Mishnah Rim Gamliel? It's better for us to say it's Rim Gamliel because the halach is like Rim Gamliel everywhere. We pass like Rim Gamliel. So, Cheskas Aguf, he says, is important. But over here, the chazaka goes bye-bye. We ruin the chazaka. We weaken the chazaka if we find the mom by the father. But if we found the mom in the, in the husband's domain, that's his problem. If they get engaged, if they get married, the husband has to prove that the mum was there before they got engaged. And that was a megatos. Actually, the Saris, but as a bio, now it has nothing to do with engagement and not engagement. It has to do where you found it. If you found the mum in the husband's house when, he, when she was already married him, then it's the husband's problem. So what does that have to do with engagement and not engagement? Actually, the Saris in Mishitaris Lai, after the engagement, not Vamai, Lemba Khan, Nintsu Khan, Hayu, Rabbi Svar is. We found it where? In the father's house. So who cares when she got engaged? If it was before or after? Omalei, Mishin Sarsa, after she got engaged, Mishin Dikila Meima Chazaka, in Adam Shaysa Bekois. Oh, another Chazaka, in red. There's another Chazaka, status quo. A person doesn't drink from a cup. Anybody that drinks from a cup looks inside first. Doesn't like what he sees, takes another cup. So a person, Chazaka, in Adam Shaysa Bekois, Adam Kim Baitkai. This guy, he must have checked her out. By Ra, and he saw the mom, and he was okay with it. As the Gemara, if that's the case, actually, Tars Nami. So then, what's the difference? Even before, if the mom happened before, he accepted upon himself. Ella, another Chazaka, Rabbi Isai, in purple. Chazaka ain't Odom Mephayis Bemumin. We have another Chazaka that contradicts that Chazaka. Person doesn't give in to mom. A mom is something he can't get over. Here. Now, check out this chart. We, have to, we, 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 we said four chazakas here. Cheskas aguf, chazaka in odom shayz mekais, chazaka in odom mefayz bimumen, and cheskas mamen. We have two against one. The cheskas aguf and chazaka in odom shayz mekais are on the girl's side. And we have Chazaka and other Mephaiz Bimumen on the guy's side. What about Cheskas Mumen? Says Rashi, it's insignificant. I made it very small. We don't care about it. It's not important when it comes to, against these Chazakas, we, we don't consider it at all. So we have two against one. So once you have two against one, what wins? The two. My armor is Chazaka and other Mephaiz Bimumen, but you have one against it, the purple. Menachem, you're the only guy waiting there. Uh, you're going to be Michael. Actually, the Sares, Hamid Aguf, Aches Kosoi, Loyakila Meimar. Now, if the mum happened before she got engaged, she ruined the Cheskas Aguf. There's no status quo. She had a mum on her body. Way before, when she was born, uh, you know, before she got engaged. So what do you lose? You lose the blue. Look what happens if you lose the blue. 
So you lose the blue, now it's one against one. Now ask the Gemara, pull out the Cheskas Momen. Now it should be two against one. Fine. Let's stop right over here. Rabbi Sai, have a wonderful day.